Hey guys, at BB Matson here. Let's install the spare tire kit <laughs> from Mopar into this Jeep Renegade. Again, surprisingly, Jeep Renegades do not come with a spare tire. All right, it's got awesome storage all up in here, and then there's a second layer, but they made it a storage compartment and gave you a, a tire inflator kit versus a spare tire. So I wanna swap that out. I want a proper spare tire in this Renegade. So I went and purchased it from, let's see, justforjeeps.com, I believe it was. And um, here's what you get. So here it is, justforjeeps.com. That's where I picked this up. It is an official Mopar part, okay? The quality of the part is very good. Uh, comes with the jack and the wrench, um, everything you're going to need. So it comes with all the tools, but man, look at this price tag, $349. Um, I'm recording this after the install, this voiceover right now, and you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm really not that totally stoked about it the reviews on the part is very very good overall but uh, yeah uh, you'll see in the video as it goes all right the kit is pretty straightforward a lot of steps one two three four five goes all the way we've got 20 steps in order to get this uh spare tire installed basically we gotta remove that whole shelf unit just uh just bizarro so let's get to work it says all you're going to need is like a, a ratchet and uh, that's about it. So open the back. We've already done that. We're going to remove this back cover. It should just pull straight out. Set that aside. We're going to want to use that again. And then we can move right into step three. I have a feeling this could go pretty darn quick. All right, down below there's a second cover. This is going to just lift right out. Hold on to that one. All right. And here we go. Here's this kind of spare tire area. Um, that, that we're going to have to deal with here. So first things first, we got to get this bolt out. I always love instructions where it says, you know, take this bolt out, but they never tell you what freaking size the bolt is. And surprisingly, it's a 13 millimeter. Pull this right out. There you go. There's a little bolt. There's going to be a little, is there a little plate? Nope, this thing is just going to lift right out. So let's keep going here. Let's pull this out. Here's that tire inflator kit. It's actually got a cartridge <laughs> in here to fix a flat. So how crazy is that? I wanna probably dive into this a little bit deeper, but there's an inflator with some juice in it. Not sure what this is. <laughs> so we've got a little funnel, another little screwdriver, little book, a bunch of odds and ends. Let's get this stuff out of there. Supposedly the inflator kit is still gonna be able to go into the kit. So next step, let's see, we, <laughs> we took out the bolt, then we can flip this around, pull this bad boy out, on to the next step. All right, next step, let's put the tire in. Pretty straightforward, looks like the, the you know, the high end goes up, so this should just drop right in here, just like that. <laughs> Fits perfect, don't know why they don't just put this thing in there to begin with. Next, you go into your little parts bin, grab your little retainer, and reach inside of here. I'll get that out of the way. And that's not going to work. What's going on? You know, the other thing I will say is that these instructions are not entirely accurate or clear. <laughs> because when I'm trying to put this uh, spare tire in uh, with it up like this, that bolt was not long enough to be able to reach that portion of it. I'll sit in there just like that real nice. Go ahead and put your retainer in. I should hold this down nice and tight. There we go. And it'll hold that spare in place. So it don't move around. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and start putting this back together. And with all this stuff kind of installed, let's go ahead and start putting this stuff back into the bags. Try and figure out how the hell this thing goes back together. This should be fun. This is definitely a little bit of a jigsaw, but it looks like it goes like this. Wrench is gonna go kind of in this direction. Slide inside here, there's a little tab. Push it forward, push her down. And then the whole kit 
folds together. You got your wrench and your jack and kind of this cheesy kind of bag. Not too impressed with the quality of this bag, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of chintzy. But anyway, we can go ahead and zip this up and throw that in. All right, we got that all bagged up. That actually fits in pretty nice right there. You can go ahead and just grab your solid board on this. Let me move you back a little bit. And we can slide this right back into place. And we're good to go. All right, once you got that, Grab your kind of protector sheet with the Jeep logo on it. Looks kind of classy. Go ahead and drop that over the top. See if we can make all this work. Got my big old set. Tow rope here. Oops. Let's just pull this out for now. See if I can get my big tow rope in here. This is a monster tow rope. This was actually a gift. It's a, it's a beast. And drop that in there like that. Grab my jumpers, drop those in there like that. Grab my cover, drop my cover back in. Hopefully, just like that. And there's everything kind of hanging out. Clean that up, make it all neat later. But uh, yeah, hmm, 350 for that? I don't know. All right, there you go. A little Jeep logo. I mean, you're really just eliminating a shelf is all you're doing because then underneath, I've got all my stuff. And I did go in, I cleaned everything up. You know, my big toe strap works. The inflator kit kind of wedges in there. I wish it was in a bag of some kind. I'll probably go find something for that. I did go just get my other inflator that is minus this uh, juice, this, um, you know, puncture uh, lubricant or whatever the hell that is. Um, you know, wrap up my cables in there. My jack's hanging out there. Sunshade. <laughs> and then I did kind of just wiggle in my my tire wrench and everything in there, too. I have another kind of extension, anyway. I, I like my tools. There it is. <laughs> Worth 350 bucks. Not sure. Probably could have hit up a junkyard and found a spare for real cheap grabbed a jack and probably been good to go. So, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. That's what you get. <laughs> Be sure to uh, subscribe or thumbs up the video. Also, uh, follow along on Instagram and TikTok. You can do that, keeponwrenching.com. Also, visit keeponwrenching.com. Doing a lot of fun stuff over there. Uh, get yourself a free sticker, too, if you like. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, that is the spare tire kit for a Jeep Renegade. Have a good one.